Microplastics contaminating the oceans is one of the world's most pressing environmental concerns. It is estimated that 2 to 5% of all plastics end up in the oceans. Rachel Hurley from the Norwegian Institute for Water Research talks about the need for more investigation of microplastics. When I'm looking at uh, plastics in environmental samples, the component um, of, sort of the primary microplastics, it sort of varies and it's uh, rarely sort of the dominant uh, sort of microplastic type. We, get, we see a lot of inputs from sort of secondary microplastics, so microplastic fibres and fragments. So hopefully we'll see some reductions in the contributions from those primary microplastics, but there's still more work that needs to be done sort of through other channels to try and reduce those sorts of other components of the kind of the whole picture of microplastic contamination. There's still a lot of unknown and a lot of uncertainties. Um, the studies that have been sort of conducted, um, they use a lot of different methods, so different types of plastic, the different sizes of plastic, different concentrations, and so the, the findings, some, uh, some report adverse effects, others don't. So the sort of pitch that we've got in terms of the research at the moment is really varied, and we still sort of need to fill in some of those, some of those gaps with a bit more, a bit more research. We still have to make a decision about what level is acceptable in the environment because this plastic does persist. So if we can see those levels decline, that's uh, something that we can be pleased with.